In today's world of intermittent fasting, time-restricted eating, and simplified meal schedules, many health-conscious adults are trimming down their eating windows to just two meals a day. But what happens to your body, especially your muscle mass, when you eat less frequently? A new study offers an important piece of the puzzle. Published in the Journal of Nutrition, this randomized controlled trial examined how varying levels of daily protein intake affected muscle and whole body protein balance in middle-aged and older adults following a two-meal-per-day eating pattern. The results are both eye-opening and actionable. Researchers from the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences recruited 30 adults aged 50 to 70 who were generally healthy and not taking medications that would interfere with muscle metabolism. These participants were randomly assigned to one of three protein intake groups. RDA group, 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. The current U.S. recommended dietary allowance. Normal group, 1.1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. The average U.S. intake based on national surveys. Twice the RDA group, 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Twice the RDA and aligned with some expert recommendations for older adults. All participants consumed their daily protein split evenly across two meals, eaten within a nine-hour window. The researchers used advanced stable isotope tracer techniques to assess whole body protein turnover and muscle protein synthesis over a 24-hour period. The study's most striking result was that only the highest intake, 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day, led to a positive net protein balance across the whole body. This means the participants were synthesizing more protein than they were breaking down, a key factor in preserving or building muscle mass. The 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day group had a significantly higher net protein balance than both the RDA and normal groups. There was no significant difference between the 0.8 and 1.1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day groups, suggesting that the typical intake of protein among older adults may still fall short. Higher protein intakes led to increases in both whole body protein synthesis and protein flux, a measure of protein turnover. These metabolic activities reflect the body's capacity to build and recycle proteins, key for maintaining muscle, especially as we age. Despite increased whole body protein balance, higher intake did not enhance muscle protein synthesis, suggesting that muscle anabolism, unsurprisingly, requires additional factors, for example, exercise. Still, the overall trend favored the higher protein group. Why this matters? As we age, our bodies become less efficient at processing protein, a phenomenon known as anabolic resistance. This increases our daily protein needs just to maintain the same muscle mass. Add in a reduced meal frequency, like eating only twice a day, and meeting these needs becomes more challenging. The conventional wisdom that 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day is sufficient might not hold up for older adults following reduced eating patterns. This study shows that intakes closer to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day may be necessary to tip the scales toward a favorable protein balance, critical for fighting sarcopenia, age-related muscle loss, maintaining physical function, and supporting overall metabolic health. Takeaways for your plate. If you're in your 50s or older and eating only two meals per day, consider these tips. Aim for higher daily protein intake around 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. For example, 105 grams for a 70 kilograms, 154 pounds person. Distribute protein evenly between meals. Ideally, 0.75 grams of protein per kilogram per meal, 50 grams per meal for the same 70 kilograms person. Choose high-quality protein sources rich in essential amino acids, lean meats, dairy, eggs, or well-formulated plant-based options. Stay consistent, especially if you're engaged in physical activity or trying to preserve muscle as you age. Just eating enough protein isn't enough if you're condensing your meals into a narrow time frame. Older adults especially should consider not just how much protein they consume, but how it's spaced throughout the day. In the era of fasting and minimalist diets, muscle health shouldn't be compromised.